I just got home from the festival and uh, I've packed, I've showered. It's 2.30 a.m. now and I'm getting up in two and a half hours from now. So, um, not a lot of sleep, but uh, I'm gonna try to go to sleep now. I don't really have time to make like a good intro or anything, so, um, but um, yeah. I'm going to see you at the airport tomorrow, I think. I'm not, um, yeah, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not going to be awake before then. So, um, let's uh, skip to the airport. Okay, so we are at the airport now, and uh, I'm still not gonna tell you exactly where I'm going, uh, but I'm gonna give you one hint. Um, I'm going to a sponsor's meeting. Okay, gotta go now. Okay, so I just landed in, I'm not gonna tell you, still not gonna tell you. Have a look around. There should be a driver waiting for me. So, um, that is actually really nice. Usually it's not like that. So I'm just gonna get my bag and then I'm gonna go. Have you figured out where I am yet? No? I'm gonna show you some more aerial shots and then I'm gonna tell you where I am. And I can give you some hints. Uh, well. There's a cactus behind me. There are olive trees. This place probably has uh, at least my favorite pizza and ice cream. I've been there in a previous vlog. Yeah, now you know. It's Arco. So I'm just here to meet a uh, sponsor, Scarpa. And I don't know if I'm gonna make like one vlog or three vlogs. Depends on how much footage I have. So I'll just have to wait and see. Um, but yeah, now I'm gonna go and eat pizza. I guess I'll just see you tomorrow for some climbing. Alright, so we're in the car. Maybe you guys remember Ruben from uh, early days of vlogging. Ruben's brother, David. Yeah, hey, David. It's me. <laughs> <laughs> He's a very strong uh, bowler. A lot of uh, World Cup finals and uh, one of the best bowlers, I would say. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying Don't not, be at humble. Least. <laughs> Don't be humble. Um, but we're going to Narango and uh, 
I've actually, am I the only one who've been to Narango before? Yes. Yeah? Probably yes. So, yeah. 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 yeah I, I've never been to Narango. Yeah. So I just told them the story about the Norwegian sect that we met there last time. And we actually, yeah, there was a vlog about that. We're just driving like in the middle of nowhere and then all of a sudden a lot of cars and this stuff. Like what is it? It's like a grass doing? field and people jumping around and it's like a weird cult or something. Yeah. Scientology or something. Maybe something. So, like they're gonna attack us. <laughs> we call the vlog a Norwegian sect. <laughs> but you were working on your training program, David. Yeah, yeah, I've got my computer with me. Yeah. Actually, it's not really social to be working in the car <laughs> and there are so many people sitting uh, next to me, but yeah. So, uh, I'm working on my training program, usually it's, it's my coach who does that, yeah. but he's pretty busy with the German youth team right now. They've got uh, uh, youth world championships in Innsbruck and um, yeah, now it's up to me. I still got semester holidays uh, and I got some free time to do that yeah. and I'm planning the next uh, four, four weeks of yeah, detailed training. Yeah. How is it looking? Is it pretty intense? Because the bowler season is finished, so I guess you're training hard now again. Or are you resting first? Well, like, uh, you know, the thing is, my season was super long. I, I was climbing from March till till now, till uh, um, September or the beginning of October. And I feel like uh, my, my energy is almost lost and I really have to look at my energy resources. Yeah. And, um, well, since Munich two weeks ago, that was the last uh, Boulder World Cup. Um, season is finished, officially finished in bouldering, but I, I'm going for uh, another lead World Cup in Edinburgh mm. in, in four weeks. So I, I want to train some more endurance yeah. uh, to climb well there. Yeah. But and how, then, then how there's come? Adidas Rockstars as well. Oh, okay. Just one week before, so I kind of have to combine bouldering uh, with endurance and lead training. Yeah. But uh, are you doing lead uh, because of the Olympics now, or are you doing lead just because you want to do lead? Um, no, I'm like, yeah, I want to go to the Olympics, of course, and that's like three disciplines. That's bouldering, speed, and lead. Mm. And for me, everything is important. This season was pretty successful in bouldering. Uh, could have done better in lead. This mm. is why I'm going to Edinburgh, because I want to uh, once more go into semifinals. Just, just good for my head to finish the season. Yeah. And as well, it, it, you know, besides the lead competition, there's also speed, so I'm yeah. going to compete speed as well. I'm going to do the triple. And you, uh, I remember, was it last year you made podium in Munich? No, I, yeah, I, no, I, I finished fourth. <laughs> oh, I just, fourth, okay, yeah, yeah. Super close, because it was like, it, it came all down to the, to the last boulder problem. Yeah. And uh, I could stick the jump, actually the hard move, and then slip on a, on a, on a round foothold afterwards, and that, yeah, I couldn't flash it, did it second try, and Alexey Rubtsov from Russia, yeah. who finally got third, he flashed it. Yeah, okay. It was just this one one attempt yeah. more. It's always so close, huh? Yeah, it is really close, yeah. but yeah, I was super happy because it was my, it was actually my first ever semi-final, and then I uh, went through to oh, finals, wow. and it was cool to, <laughs> to it's finish. It's a good day. Yeah, it was a pretty good day. Yeah. I think the best all-round shoe where I can trust the toe, the heel and the toe hook is the VSR, the Instinct. Yeah. This is sounding like a sponsored uh, video now. Yo, <laughs> <laughs> ah, really? I feel like it's like... Interesting. I feel like uh, Scarpa has like a, a white... <laughs> white... You, you should sing with me, Despacito. Despacito? Yes. Yeah, do it. <laughs> Who's doing the vocal though? <laughs> Someone has to sing. You, you, you. <laughs> it's not the right one. Man. Man? Gabriel, you're all sing, right? <laughs> I need money. Magnus, can you buy me a new, new phone? phone? Please. <laughs> Please, it saved my ass. What happened yesterday. to it? I fell on it. <laughs> what do you think? Would you buy me a new phone? Maybe. Depends on how good the song and then the next song is. <laughs> Give me another chance. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm here with uh, Sebastian Halenke, a uh, very known uh, World Cup climber. 
Where is your best result? You've won a World Cup? Yeah, yeah. last year in Karani I managed to win my first World Cup ever. Yeah, so a World Cup winner here. <laughs> and we're just talking about like sleep and stuff because you haven't slept that much the last few days. Oh, yeah, the last few days my sleep was pretty, pretty bad, I have to confess. Yeah. And you also said that uh, when you're feeling like before a competition, you don't sleep so well. Yeah, quite often before the, the days before competitions or during the competition, my sleep is kind of light. Yeah. So I don't even feel nervous that obviously, but I think I've got a kind of inner tension and just simple noises can get me awake really easily. Yeah. And then I feel like I wake up. I don't even think about the comp, but I'm just awake, like really active and I could start doing something. And this is sometimes pretty tiring. So yeah. I think for me, it's very important to sleep well yeah. the weeks before, yeah. because I know during the comp, it's not going to be that great. But you, you're not doing bouldering competitions, right? You're only, you're focusing on lead. Basically, I'm focusing yeah. on lead. But you're pretty I'm... strong in bouldering. So. Actually, I am, but I mean, the bouldering style is also different to doing hard bowler movements, yeah. I think. So I've tried like, some yeah some smaller bouldering events and i've been into bouldering team trainings and especially in the team trainings i had to le realize like it's so different like even when i felt like physically strong yeah. in many of the boulders i felt totally screwed i was like <laughs> okay what am i doing here because the style of the bouldering yeah comps. yeah it's mostly the style of the bouldering yeah. i think next year i'm going to do definitely more of bouldering because also the way the lead style has changed it's probably going to use me something yeah but i know that's like a slow and like not so easy pro process for me because i need to get used to a totally different way of climbing like yeah. more stabbing on very flat round stuff and yeah. not any like small tiny foothold it's like way different than bouldering on the rock uh, do you think that's a bad thing about do you think bouldering should be more like outdoor climbing or do you think it's good for i mean it's good for the spectators like it is now i think but in uh, my opinion i think well i mean i haven't been enough into the bouldering myself yet in order to judge it enough i think i think my opinion is still kind of too subjective but what i think is that there should be a mixture i think it's good that there are things like jumps and big volumes because mm. that makes it exciting but also i think bouldering in the competition still should be physical mm. and you should be able to pull hard on a small trim and things like this i think in my opinion the way i see it from outside it's a little bit too unilateral mm. towards just coordination and this type of things yeah and i think if there is a bigger variety like still a bigger range between physically very hard and also these aspects with coordination then in my opinion that would be like the best and i think that's how it can be also still attractive for for spectators yeah what's well, something that i think is the most unique about the now i'm jumping the subject but something that is unique to your climbing style is the like the speed and determination and confidence that you have when you climb the competitions yeah. what so what 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 is the trick there how do you like get so psyched and you're so confident when you climb how do you well for me it's i'm basically a maximal power based yeah. type of climber so normally when i'm well in shape all the single movements do not feel hard for me so i'm in most of the movements in my comfort zone yeah. and as i'm moving in my comfort zone that gives me the confidence so i think that's the main trick and then basically yeah. i'm a competitive person and when i'm if, when I have all the mental pieces collected together, yeah. I know I'm doing better in the competition than I'm able to do in training. So I think that's, yeah, these are the aspects. Yeah. And uh, how much do you train, would you say, during uh, like an average week? How many hours do you put in climbing? I mean, that depends so much of the phase that I'm into. Like in some beginning phases of the year where I do a lot of volume, they can be 30. 35 hours yeah that's a lot sometimes that's really much like up to 12 sessions yeah. but in other phases when i'm training more for maximal power or especially like also the speed power yeah. and i don't do more than like like say five sessions in total and three of them are really like hard in this way yeah so then my volume is not more than 20 hours per week but yeah that happens a lot on the face but i would say averagely something about 25 30. yeah 
But when you when you climb like 30 hours, do you feel like the quality of the training drops? Because I mean, of course, in the training phases when I train that much, yeah. that high amount of hours, then the quality is a bit lower. But I'm trying to set there the basement that then later on, just before the competitions, I can gain still a better quality, like a kind of pyramid yeah. system. Yeah, yeah. So of course, in these times, the quality is not that high. But for me, it's definitely important, especially closer to the competitions, to reduce the volume and to have a yeah. hopefully perfect uh, yeah. quality in my sessions. Yeah, sounds good. And um, if you if you were to give one tip to a beginner or climber, what would it be? I would say enjoy climbing in all its styles and all its vari yeah. varieties. Live it like travel around climb as many different routes as possible don't care about the grades because grades are just numbers and yeah live climbing and live this passion and that's what's going to make you progress of the people here if i were to interview another person who do you think would be the most interesting person to interview here hmm apart from yourself <laughs> <laughs> well that's a good question i mean for example chris hunky I yeah. know him well and I mean he had last year a really bad year yeah. for instance and from last year to this year he has made a huge jump like this year he has been suddenly in finals even yeah. and I think that might be also an interesting point of view yeah. what has changed yeah, him, yeah, for yeah. instance that he made such a big jump I mean I've known him for several years and yeah. I think the in physical terms it hasn't happened that extremely much but i think there are other aspects and maybe that's yeah. also a mental good... aspects yeah, yeah mental technical okay but that might be also an interesting question yeah to ask. might ask him later then cool. all right we're about to go climbing huh yeah for sure yeah <laughs> up there What are you going to try, Sebastian? I have no idea yet. I don't even have a clue which is what route. Yeah, I can explain you after if you want. Yeah, that would be cool. Looks awesome here. Yeah. You should try to on-site something hard. Yeah, let's see. Today I feel... <laughs> too much beer yesterday? Yeah, maybe. Well, I guess too much wine. Too much wine. <laughs> and trappa. Well, we're in Italy, right? Exactly. So, that's what you gotta do. Yeah. <laughs> so Sebastian is going to try to uh, flash this route and I'm going to give him beta but I'm also going to film him from above. So I've fixed the rope but we don't have a Juma so we'll see how it goes. One arm, uh, one arm <laughs> Come on Magnus.
I'm not gonna try it again. Fuck. It's so weak right now. Damn. <laughs> Fuck! Yeah. Ah, it's a good idea. It's a good idea. Oh, babushka. Okay, so this has been a pretty long vlog already, so I'm gonna end it here and then continue in the next vlog. So, as always, thank you for watching and make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next vlog. Ciao, ciao.